Hey everyone, welcome back to the Remote Professional Network. As some of you may know, throughout the week we handpick work from home opportunities and then share them with the community. This time we located an opening with Liberty Mutual on their customer service team. Liberty Mutual is really a great company to work for. They have some incredible benefits that they offer their employees, so we're excited to get into this one. And to clarify, they are hiring for multiple roles for this position, so definitely get your applications ready by the end of this video. In this job opportunity video, we're going to cover the job overview and responsibilities. So what the role is and what are the responsibilities. We'll go over compensation. We'll cover the expected salary benefits, any other relevant information to that. We'll go over some information about the company, briefly go over things like the industry, reputation, culture, and whatever other information we can find about Liberty Mutual. This section is a little bit more important than you may think, so pay attention to that one. We will also cover how to actually land the job. We'll go through the actual job posting together, highlight some areas that seem important to the employer and the job poster, go over some interviewing tips and some resume tips. Then we'll also cover a career path, so we'll go over what your career path could look like down the road salary outlook and opportunities and we will lastly give you some tips to succeed in the position and advance your career afterwards so we have some tips on how to be successful in this role and move your career forward part one job overview and responsibilities just some information about the posting liberty mutual is hosting a virtual hiring event for their customer service team on march 30th this is a mass hiring event for a new class of representatives who will start the position in May 2022, so just a couple months from now. Indeed will be conducting the first round phone screen interview, so if you are selected for the position, you will have 10 weeks of paid training after you accept the offer. Some responsibilities you can expect in this role. You will help customers by building rapport, responding to and resolving inbound phone calls in a fast-paced call center environment. This is done by identifying and providing services and solutions to their questions regarding renewals, coverage, eligibility, billing, and policy changes. All right, guys, so this is a call center type of position. However, remember that you will be working 100% remote or work from home. A few reasons that we do like this position. One, Liberty Mutual is a really well-known company. Um, they get great reviews from employees. They have a great benefit package. And if you're somebody who's looking to break into a bigger company, someone in the Fortune 100, this is a really good way to get your foot in the door, get some industry experience, learn their products, learn about the uh, insurance industry, and get some hands-on experience. So stay tuned, we'll also give you some other reasons why this is a great opportunity. Section two, compensation. What you can expect for a salary is between $35,000 and $45,000, 40 hours per week. This range may be slightly affected based on experience, but we would bet the range will be more impacted based on your geographical location most of our research indicated that you should probably expect about $44,000 if you head over to Glassdoor and search customer service representative on the Liberty Mutual salary page. You should pull up the same information. It looks like about $44,000 is where you will be starting. Some of the benefits, Liberty Mutual has incredible benefits. That's really what they're known for. So we're just going to go through some of them. We'll list them out. The first one is the pension plan. This is super unique. They're one of the last companies to still have a pension plan. So a pension plan, it's a monthly pay credit equal to 5% of your monthly eligible compensation plus monthly interest credits. That's huge for your retirement. In addition, they still have a 401k as well. It offers a guaranteed company match of 50 cents for each dollar you contribute up to 8% of your eligible pay. That can really add up, guys. Definitely note that if you are entry level or just haven't had a 401k before, anytime your employer offers a match, definitely make sure you contribute up to that percentage. 
to get the full benefit. So if you do wind up taking this position, make sure that you can get to contributing 8% of your pay to your 401k. If you pair that with your pension plan, you're gonna be living pretty large in retirement, all right? So the next thing that Liberty Mutual, Liberty Mutual is uh, pretty well known for, their pay for performance program. So Liberty Mutual does the, have a tradition of rewarding high performing em employees performance and pay are reviewed annually and the compensation program is designed to deliver above market pay if you perform well and if you perform significantly above that um, and you demonstrate exceptional performance you will get paid way above your pay grade okay so liberty mutual definitely values employees who are high performers and work very hard and they will reward you they also have a variable incentive plan so your total compensation package goes beyond just your base salary. So that $44,000, that really just covers the base salary. You should expect some bonuses on top of that too if you perform well. Um, like we said, it also includes participation in your annual, annual bonus program. Liberty Mutual's variable incentive plan provides cash awards based on your business unit's performance and Liberty Mutual's overall financial success as well as your individual performance. So essentially, if everybody does well, you will do well as well. And on top of that, you have your pay per, pay per, pay for performance. <laughs> so you will uh, get paid some bonuses on that as well. That was a tongue twister, sorry about that. And then there are some traditional benefits as well. You, you got your typical health, dental, and vision. We've we, uh, read some good things about those options as well. And they also offer a pretty robust tuition reimbursement program. While you are working, you can take courses, earn a degree, um, advance your career through Liberty Mutual. And Liberty Mutual, tend, they, they are known for making it easy with their plan. Um, you do have to get your manager's approval. The plan will reimburse you 100% of the cost for your undergraduate and graduate courses. You will be eligible for the plan once you've been a full-time employee for at least one year. And there, there are a bunch of other benefits, guys. We we just listed some of the ones that you might be interested in the most. If we went all over, over all of them, frankly, we would be here for quite a while. So definitely look in the comments after the video and we'll post the link so that you can view the benefits yourself. Section three, about the company. Liberty Mutual was founded in 1912 in Boston, Massachusetts and ranks 71st on the Fortune 100 list. Liberty Mutual is a well-known player in the insurance industry. As of 2021, Liberty Mutual is actually the sixth largest property and casualty insurer globally. So the company also sells full lines of coverage for cars, homeowners, small commercial, um, valuable possessions, and other personal liability insurances. Going over the culture, Liberty Mutual, from what we have seen, has more of a professional setting as opposed to a laid-back one. So you'll probably see employees wearing button-down shirts, khakis, um, or even suits are not uncommon, especially in the Northeast area. You can really tell a lot about a company's culture also based on the benefits that they offer. So as we saw above, Liberty Mutual places a heavy focus on rewarding high performers. As such, you can probably expect a more competitive competitive environment. Liberty Mutual is also really, really well known for its training programs. Uh, the training programs are really well known and respected, and e they're even respected beyond their own industry. That's how good some of these programs are. Um, the sales training program is incredible as well as the customer service. So having that on your resume for the future would definitely be um, a big benefit. This is definitely something that's extremely important to consider, you know, when you're choosing to accept a position and grow a career. There's a saying out there, learn or earn, which means when you work a job, you should either be learning or earning, if not both. Liberty Mutual is definitely a company that uh, looks like they embrace both of those things. And lastly, Liberty Mutual's performance. Like we noted, Liberty Mutual, they rank 71st in the Fortune 100. They're the sixth largest property and casualty insurer globally. They also have many other insurance products which are growing. 
And you know, the performance of a company, it's really important to your career, which is why we we briefly cover this area. You always want to be working for a company that is either a leader in a space or growing. And the reason is really simple. More successful companies companies will have more opportunities for you, which means that you're going to advance your career uh, definitely a lot quicker and probably increase your salary and your pay over time. Section four, how to land the job. So in this section, we're going to go over some tips on how to actually land the job. So if you've made it this far and you plan on applying, definitely stick around for this. If you're, if you're not so sure you want to apply it, I would still suggest, you know, pay attention to this one and the next couple sections too. We're going to cover some tips and tricks on how to improve your resume, um, some interviewing tips, and then also just, you know, how would you perform well in this position if you were here and also how to advance your career. So. Let's get started. Again, how to land the job is what we're going to cover here. So, you know, definitely cover your basics uh, before we even dive into specifics on the job description and go over that together. Let's cover some basics here, right? So we know that Liberty Mutual is a more competitive professional environment. Um, you may be surprised, but most applicants will probably not do the basics, right? So this is exactly why you should do the basics. Make sure that you're clean shaven. If you have facial hair, trim it up, get a haircut. Remember, corporate environment means the dress code is professional. A button down and khakis will probably do. I would probably recommend that you throw a tie on. And if you want to go a bit further, you will not feel overdressed if you wear a suit or a blazer with khakis. Okay, now just kind of touching on your resume a little bit. This is a pretty standard job to apply to, so we don't need to reinvent the wheel here. Um, but there are a few tips to improve your resume. Number one, always submit a unique resume for each position you apply to. So if you're submitting the same resume to multiple positions, your success rate will probably be pretty low. You want to make sure that you customize it to each position that you're applying to. So to customize your resume to a specific position, one recommendation I might have is focus on the responsibility section. This is telling you what you will be doing in the role. So you want to match up your resume showing your previous accomplishments and your previous experiences to prove that you can perform this job. Okay. It's always beneficial to, to quantify your accomplishments. So for example, if you have worked in a fast paced customer service environment before, Try to highlight things like how many customers did you interact with per day? What was your quality score? Did you lead a project designed to improve the overall customer service and what was the result of that? Things like that. All right. And then definitely also note that for other positions in the future, they might have stricter qualifications. That will be an area that you can highlight in reference to, to match your resume with that. But again, for this position, it's a pretty basic standard job we're applying to. So I don't, I don't think you really have to address the qualifications. Um, your resume will, will uh, show that you are qualified. Okay. And just an example, right? When we were talking about, right, uh, customizing your resume, you want to focus on the responsibility section. So we can see that right here, just as an example of how you would do that. Let's, let's focus on this bullet point, right? Maintains and tracks accurate data in various computer systems. So what I would say to that, to customize your resume, to highlight that, ask yourself, you know, have you worked with any computer applications in previous positions? Do you have experience using Excel, Google Sheets, Salesforce, or any other application where you might track information and data and keep it in a nice, clean, um, organized space? You, you definitely want to just highlight skills that you have, which would prove to someone that you're tech savvy and you can use a computer well, right? Because in this position, basically what they're saying there is you're going to be using multiple computer applications pop probably at the same time. And they just want to see that you can uh, perform that action well enough and also maintain data. Another little tip, use some words from the job posting in your resume. 
So when you submit your application online, your resume will typically be scanned by a system which picks up on keywords. Then from there, a recruiter picks out the top matches and then reviews the resume themselves. So to get through just that first barrier, using some of their same language will help you. Um, definitely don't copy things word for word. They'll be able to pick up on that pretty easily. But if you find that a certain word is getting used a few times in the actual job listing or description or posting, put that word in your resume and you should pop up a little bit higher when uh, recruiters go to review the first round of applications. Okay, third, the format of your resume. Just stick with a classic traditional format. I'm referring back to the systems. Companies, you, you know, like, like we said, right? Companies use systems to sort through resumes. So if your resume format has a unique format, a lot of these systems are not able to read through the resume at all, actually. So if you have, uh, you know, different colors, a lot of blocked off sections, you're, you're, there's a good chance that your resume is not even being read. The systems cannot pick it up. So that's de definitely why you want to stick to a traditional format. You can see here, this is an example of a traditional format resume. And also just, you know, knowing the company that you're applying for, right? This is a more corporate professional setting. Stick to the traditional um, resume format. Number four, going over some interview preparation. For positions like this, you're going to get mostly behavioral based interview questions. So questions that are gonna start off as, tell me about a time when type of questions. So to best prepare for these types of questions, use the star method. You can see here in this diagram um, what that looks like, but to just let you know what the star method is, it's an interviewing technique. You can use this to format your answer and respond clearly to the question asked. Star stands for S. The S is the situation you wanna describe the event or situation that you were in. T stands for task. You wanna explain the task that you had to complete. A stands for action. Here you'll describe the, the specific actions you took to complete the task. And R stands for result. Close with the results of your efforts. So definitely practice this method, rehearse the questions, and you will ace the interview, especially for this kind of position. The STAR method is really, you know, it's really just a great to learn now because you'll be able to use it further along in your career as well. Section five, career path. One of the most unique things about working in customer service is that you should become knowledgeable in quite a few areas. So in this position, you can stick with customer service or use it as a launching pad into a different direction. So becoming more specialized typically gets you a uh, higher pay. So deciding on a specific career path early on will probably be beneficial to you. So definitely start thinking about that once you get into this position. Some areas you'll gain knowledge in when you're in a customer service position, and it doesn't have to be through Liberty Mutual, it could be through any, any place. You'll get some knowledge in the product area, sales, human resources, account management, customer success, um, and the list really goes on for there. For the sake of time, let's assume that you stay on the customer service path for your career at Liberty Mutual, right? So if we take a look here, we can pull up a customer service manager's expected salary. A customer service manager for Liberty Mutual looks like they make between $115,000 to $125,000 per year. That's definitely an achievable position to aim for. And vice presidents will be well into the $200,000 range. So you definitely have some uh, more opportunities to look forward to there. And just note also, when you start aiming and uh, in applying to positions like a customer service manager or vice president, you, st you start to become, you start to be in a position where, you're at, where your decisions in your job are actually impacting the business. So you can expect in at least publicly traded companies that you will also be compensated with stock shares and other things and other bonuses as well. So that 115,000 to 125,000 could very well be uh, much higher as well when you think of total compensation. Furthermore, there will also be opportunities for advancement outside of Liberty Mutual. 
but inside of the industry, providing even more options, right? So definitely a way to increase your income. If you can't advance in your own company, looking to advance in your industry can be a way to, um, you know, get a, get a promotion, increase your income and things of that nature. So if you go to, if you do take the job at Liberty Mutual, you're in the insurance industry, other places where you could potentially, um, you know, gain work in the future would be, you know, State Farm, Allstate, and a couple other really big places that have lots of opportunities. And another tip, always be thinking about the next move that you want to make in your career. Use job posts to set goals to get there too. So for example, if your goal is to become a customer service manager for Liberty Mutual, search for a job opening of that position or similar. When you read the job post, it will list the responsibilities, requirements, and qualifications candidates need to be considered. And you can use these skills, sorry, you can use these as skills, you know, to acquire yourself. So when the time comes, you're ready and qualified for the position. So you can kind of reverse engineer some of these positions. So if you see that a customer service manager requires three years of experience using a Salesforce CRM, you can aim to obtain that skill and that experience so that when you get to the position where you're ready to apply for the customer service manager, you're ready, you have the qualifications and you have a really good shot at getting that job. Okay, another tip to help with your career advancement. Most big companies are going to have internal job boards. So when you work at these larger companies, um, you know, like we said, they have an internal job boards. They might have pay grade um, lists. Not all of them have the pay grade list, but some of them do, and they might make it public so that you can use to compare to the actual job board and see what your salary expectations can be when you're applying internally as well. So just to note more information about the internal job board, before companies put a job out to the public, they might list, they might list it in their own system first for their own employees to apply to. So that can, that can be incredibly valuable to building your own career. Um, you can use it again to see what requirements there are for certain positions. And you can also tie that to the pay grade and benefits and see what the total packages look like. So typically at most companies, you need to be in your new role for about a year before you are able to apply out to a different position, but you can use the internal job board to advance through the ranks and get a little bit of a head start on the competition. Section six, tips to succeed in the position. First off, kind of like we covered before, if you want to succeed in this position, just do the basics. So if you've worked in a call center environment before, you, you might have observed that coworker, that a decent amount of coworkers um, they show up late, they don't show up at all, they get in trouble at work, or they just generally don't take the job very seriously. They're kind of just there for the paycheck. So to sum it up, you most likely won't have a ton of competition at these places. So it will be easy to stand out if you perform well and do the basics. And that's extremely valuable inside these big companies, right? Tons of people apply to these big companies for other positions. And you know, it's very competitive. If you take a position like this and the, and the customer service representative, you can really, really use it to build yourself a career. I personally did the same thing at another large company in a fortune 10 company. And that's how I really skyrocketed my career. So in the future, right? When you apply to other jobs in the future, let's assume you take this Liberty mutual job. A really big benefit that you're going to be able to have that other people won't have is that you're going to have a fortune 100 company on your resume and that does resonate with a lot of people that are hiring right just because you have the name again liberty mutual has really well-known training programs um, not kidding if you go look around you can actually find a couple lists of liberty mutual being ranked as one of the top training programs and recommended for college graduates um, and either in even other young professionals. So definitely do the basics. If you take this position, just do the basics, right? Show up, do a good job. You're probably going to see the, you know, you're going to reap the rewards. Second, 
you know, a lot of a lot, if you if you worked in a call center before, or just really any other position, right, where people might complain about a lack of opportunities or something of that nature, or that there's no career path, you have to know also that that's not necessarily always the case. They might just not be qualified, right? So when you work in a position like this as a customer service representative, you have a really unique position to obtain a lot of information and knowledge. So the second point and the second tip to succeed in this position is become an expert. So it, like we said, in this position, you're gonna be working directly with customers and products of the company. That gives you a really, really unique view of the company and gives you the opportunity to, to become extremely knowledgeable about the products and services that the company provides. And you can even go beyond that as well, and you should if you want to actually develop a career. Research the industry in your free time and just keep up with the trends, keep up with other companies, see what they're up to. Really become an expert. In a lot of companies, they have what, what are called subject matter experts, and you can see significant pay, grade, uh, pay upgrades for being an expert in specific areas. For example, I know I keep using Salesforce, but a lot of companies, they'll have a Salesforce um, subject matter expert. If you work for a company already, you might see that abbreviated as SME. Becoming an expert, take the time to become knowledgeable and you will see the rewards from, from the uh, time that you put in to do so. Tip number three, make sure that when, if, you, if you do take this position, don't just take a job, make sure that you're developing a career. Okay, so try to set a goal before you even get started in the position so you have something to work towards and keep you going and build momentum towards. People, you know, people burn out for many reasons, but one reason I find, and you know, the rest of us find here, is because some people, they, they feel stuck or they feel like they're not moving forward. And that tends to happen and people who treat their work like a job, not like a career. So in a job, really you're just kind of going through the motions, you're just there to get a paycheck, you show up, do what's required of you, right? Go home, get your money, pay rent, and that's it. In a career, you're specializing, you're focused on specializing in something, you're setting goals, you're putting together a correlated string of work in order to advance yourself, and you're looking to become an expert in something. So again, study the industry, study the products that you're gonna be working with, study the customers that you work with, and go to work with a purpose, all right? That's really how you start advancing in your career. If you, if you, keep, if you keep bouncing around to different jobs and working in different industries, it's very difficult to become an expert or knowledgeable in anything because you're, skills you have a lot of knowledge of a lot of things but not a lot of knowledge about a specific area and that's that tends to be when you start developing a career right so for example if you get a this customer service job at liberty mutual the next job that you want to be aiming for is something higher in liberty mutual or another uh, uh, sorry another insurance company keep it correlated and that's how you keep that's how you start stacking up skills experiences and building towards higher and better paying positions okay so that really wraps it up for today guys uh, the link to apply or learn more about the position will be posted in the comments see you next time